We were battleborn to Overwatch the World of Warcraft this week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everyone to Boss Battle number 155, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com get together to talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby FJ Tom, but before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, I know you achieved a great deal this week, so let's hold on. I got a list. Okay. Holy crap. Oh, wow. You made a list of all the games wow. Play. That's what I did too last week. I know. <laughs> um, like it, so like it, in medieval times, you're yep. just going to read the menu. Uh, <laughs> Smash Brothers, Super Mario 3D, Mario Kart 8, Tetris Metroid, Need for Speed Carbon, Advanced Warfare, Bobby's Bubble Pop, uh, 9.25. <laughs> so, that was the best game the, of the night. We, we Golf, Disco, um, Pro Wrestling, RC Pro Am, Punch-Out!, SMB3, Yoshi, more Metroid, Street Fighter vs. Capcom, uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Crazy Taxi, and more Advanced Warfare. We Golf, Disco. Uh, yeah, that was, was you. You fell I asleep through that. Yeah. So yeah, at one point during our massively long game of golf that we never finished because it took <laughs> way too long. Wait, we did nine we holes. Discovered, what's that? We did nine holes. Yeah, we did nine holes instead of the yeah, eighteen. Um, but halfway through, we discovered that the tune ZM has like I don't know, disco balls on the on the wall. I woke up to that. Yeah. And so we, we shut all the main lights off and turned those on and played golf. <laughs> disco golf. I, I dubbed it Disco Golf. And I slept through that. Yeah, you did. You call it Golf Get Disco, though. Oh, I forgot. Uh, uh, we played uh, uh, Don't Wake the Selfie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, in which, well, I played that. Everyone else uh, got one with Bobby, but I mm. got one with every single person that fell asleep. You did. Yeah, you did. You did. Uh, um, I was nestled in uh, bubble wrap, so I was yeah. not paying attention. <laughs> Those were the rules, Bobby. Right? Yeah. If I went to sleep, I had to wear bubble wrap, and I went to sleep. Yep. I didn't, no, I yeah. didn't make the rule about him. That's I, I just said it needed to happen. I didn't care yeah. if he fell asleep or not. And, and I, had to drive, I had to drive t- two hours home the next day. So. <laughs> no one no one cared that you went to sleep. I know, it we, was were, we were just trying to get you to wear the bubble wrap. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that was the main goal, and it, you did. And so we mainly left you alone while you slept. Yeah, yeah thank you. So. I thank you for that. <laughs> hey, I'm the only one that has to be up for the 24 hours. Sure, <laughs> sure. So I only... Yeah, but I always feel I, guilty when I catch a nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it, it doesn't bother me if you guys catch a nap. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like, I mean, you guys are fine. I, I, I'm an adult. I can play video games and keep myself entertained. <laughs> I love that uh, it starts <laughs> with, I'm an adult. And I can play video games to keep yeah. myself entertained. So, but, um, no, I, I, we raised mm-hmm. uh, just under $2,000. Nice. Nice. Um, and had a lot of fun doing it. So and the, and the uh, donations are still open too, by the way. Yeah, right. donations are still open over at ChachiPlays.com. Yeah. Pew. All right, uh, Sorg, what did you achieve this weekend? I played some video. I watched Chachi play some video games. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, actually, I I think this is the most I've played while at Chachi Plays. Mm-hmm. Um, I was of course in the Tetris tournament. I played a little bit of uh, Mario Kart. Yeah, I want a Wii U as well now. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. da, 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 da. I actually had uh, uh, Can- Command and Conquer Generals on my Windows laptop, so I booted that thing up. Actually, zero hour because I have a save yeah, game somewhere. That. I have a save game somewhere of Generals. Well, I was trying to figure out how part of it worked because <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> I'm like, I get to this point, and I gotta build shit. I don't know how to build shit anymore. What do I do? You know, um, so so wow. not much tutori- tutorial for a uh, expansion pack. So there's that. Uh, you know what we forgot to do. What's that? We forgot to have a rematch in uh, uh, fi- uh, Street, Street Fighter. Fighter. Yeah, but it wouldn't have been fair at the point that we thought about it. Uh, so yeah, soon, Bobby. Soon you're coming to Pod soon. Camp, right? We'll just have to bring an Xbox to Pod Camp. <laughs> uh, I, what I, talk about. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So yesterday, uh, Chris and I were having a discussion about which system uh, we were going to upgrade to. Okay. Uh, first, first, which system we were going to upgrade <laughs> to first? Because I mean, we we both have agreed that we're getting an Xbox One. It's just mm-hmm. a matter of when. Yeah. Um, because uh, Call of Duty, the next Call of Duty game, is still coming out on 360, so I'm not in a hurry to get it. Um, and after after playing the Wii U at Chachi Plays, which I played a lot, uh, I, I really dig it. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, so you're breaking your Zelda rule. And isn't right. that the problem? <laughs> we've never we've never got our hands on it in an extended period of time, right? Yeah. Right. Right, and that helps because I, we had never touched it. Uh, we we're just going by based on what everyone else said and what we see. So, uh, and then we are. Uh, Is it so, shaving with his right now? I'm shaving yes. with my right now. It's nice and smooth. <laughs> right. But, uh, and so we did some price comparisons and found that we were going to get one from Best Buy, uh, the Splatoon mm-hmm. pack. Um, oh, from, uh, nice. Chachi. Yeah. You and I are splatooning. Whenever well, you get it, sir. Yeah, you will. Yeah, but, so, so here's the thing. Uh, Chris went and was going to get one. Um, we hadn't completely decided she was going to stop by and see, but apparently she was going to get it. And now I have a vendetta against fucking Best Buy. <laughs> no. Oh, did you see the other sale? No. Okay. Because she was there for 15 minutes and couldn't get any mm. assistance. Oh, no. <laughs> so she left. Which means we didn't get a Wii U today. Uh, that is they bad. A, I, I, I heard rumors of another sale. Uh, an Xbox One and a 40-inch Samsung TV for 500 bucks. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Wow. I, I heard rumors of that sale. I'll, I'll, I'll have to confirm that, but I, I've heard that rumor. Cool. Huh. Dang. So you might want to <laughs> wait. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah, that was this tale of how we almost we almost got a Wii U today. <laughs> Riz, what'd you, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, Riz, what did you achieve this week? Well, uh, let's see here. I too played in played a lot of games in Chachi plays. Uh, I, like Sorg, I did the uh, Tetris tournament. Mm-hmm. Was that? Mm-hmm. I did not get last. I know. I want the record to show. I did not get last in the Tetris tournament. Almost last. No, no. Almost last is not last. Uh, Also, I unsuccessfully uh, tried to defend my uh, Mario Kart tournament title. I I got third, though. Yeah. I got third. Yeah, you did. So there's that. Uh, with Chachi, I've played uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, which, by the way, did not hold up very well. No, not at all. <laughs> no. mm-hmm. uh, it was a lot better when I was like a, like a little kid with looking at a foul-mouthed squirrel talking about boobs. Um, you guys were only playing – you were playing multiplayer, not the same. Yeah, we were player. playing the multiplayer, but it. I, I would still probably play the, the single player, though, but – the multiplayer is. I, I, I'd say the crap. single player does hold up. I played it relatively yeah. recently, mm-hmm. so. Uh, and also, we played, I believe, a, the WCW game. No, yeah, WCW game. Yeah, WCW yeah, versus the world, so, yeah. or WCW yeah. versus yeah. NWO World Tour. Yeah, WCW <laughs> World Tour. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, had a dance off. Yes, we <laughs> all we did was just like start humping, thrusting, thrusting at each other. Which, by the way, uh, I started in the Tetris tournament while Chachi was going. Yeah. Uh, and I also played with Sword during that event. Uh, WWE, WWF, uh, no what was that one? No Mercy. No Mercy. No Mercy. Which was a lot, which was better than the WCW World Tour. The WCW NW World Tour, mm-hmm. I think. Um, well, it is. It, was, it is the successor. Because yeah. it was the same engine, basically. And I am currently playing Bloodborne still, Rocket League, and I downloaded an indie game with a very long title uh, that just came out today for the PlayStation 4. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, somebody. I forget what it's called, but it is very, like a 
it's something about the rapture and it's more of a uh, oh well um, i know i know what it is uh yeah uh, i can't remember the name it's something the rapture is in the title yes uh and but all, we're all gone the rapture or something yes that one oh, uh, somebody, like that. somebody's going to the rapture yeah uh, oh i know what it's called Something it has it has rapture in the it title. It has rapture in it, right? <laughs> what what uh, is happening? No. Wait, wait, what's happening right now? I I I, I <laughs> wasn't paying attention for a moment. It's I'm not gonna Bioshock find Bioshock out what the name is. It's not by a We're going to uh, we're going to stream it on uh, my new channel, Riz Plays Games. I finally got it down for Twitch. Uh, so join me on Twitch while I try to, to maneuver myself somewhere down the line here, <laughs> which I will probably die a lot of. A lot hey, Sorry, what just happened was Bobby repeated Riz. Yeah. Not knowingly. Yeah. Okay. All right, and all right, I repeated that's fine. both of them knowingly. <laughs> knowingly. <laughs> We've all gone to Rapture. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, is that Everybody's like, gone to the Rapture. I'll that's tell you, what what, I called. don't know. I'll tell you where this podcast is going, though. <laughs> to Rapture. <laughs> to the top. To the top. Um, for... Everybody, achieve, get their achievements out. Sure. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. I, I achieved. Bobby. Um, Bobby. I, what? What did you achieve? I achieved. Uh, I played uh, video games with Chachi. Uh, I'm sorry for my selections of fighting games. Oh, that's, all the, that's all the two-player <laughs> games I have. Uh, but we played some Marvel vs. Capital Three. Oh. Uh, we played uh, Soul Calibur Five. I played Brother Sorg in Soul Calibur Four. Which so, yeah, I agree. I agree with uh, him. Soul Calibur Four is the better game, no, which I have both of them, anyways. Um, I just grabbed the newest one because I don't know why, because I haven't played it in a long time. What was the DLC on that one? Like, what was the special character? Uh, and Ezio. Ezio. Oh. And uh, the Star Wars characters were in four. Um, I played a bunch of NES games this weekend, thanks to Chachi. Uh, Master Blaster. I actually got further in Master Blaster than I ever did before. I forgot about all the um, NES games I played. Yeah. Um, uh, I placed uh, second place by default in the Tetris tournament. Tell because, them why. Because Tell Chachi, them why. Chachi did beat me. So technically but, Chachi won. But he couldn't accept the trophy because he paid for them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so therefore... I, by default, got second place. So, so technically, Chachi won second yes. place. Chachi won second place. But yeah. Then I didn't um, even place. Huh? Then I didn't yeah, even did. place. Well, you, you finished you third. You got third, but Chachi doesn't count. So. <laughs> um, and, and and then I went home that on, on uh, Saturday, went to immediately to bed, like me and Chachi were talking about. And then... Sunday, I got up and had an urge to play video games, and I started to play Metal Gear Solid, which I promptly forgot how to play video games. <laughs> um, the the opening to that game is a you have to sneak into a prison camp and get uh, your two allies out. I am the worst stealth player ever, and I beat Metal Gear Solid Three. Like I forget, I forgot how to be stealthy in a game. I, I was shooting barrels and having them explode <laughs> and take myself out along with other other uh, uh, NPCs. And it's like, I, I made so much noise. Like, the first thing I did was fall off a cliff. <laughs> it was just bad. I said, I forget how to play video games. And so I, so I started playing this other free game I got called uh, So Many Me. And that was oh. fun. Um, you're like these little blobby things, and everybody's going to rapture. So, yeah. without without further ado, Chachi, you want to take us around the internet? It's now time for your favorite post on the internet this Tuesday. Video game three three from around the internet. No, 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 no. I lost it. I gotta find it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Found it. Chachi has found has not found it. I forgot. I lost the internet. <laughs> found the internet. Uh, first up, uh, a guy in Columbus, Ohio, was shot three times over a video game argument. What? Um, it Long doesn't guys. say what game. It doesn't say what game they were playing, um, or what the argument was about. But I it, think we should have been in, should stay right. in. Right. I wish, um, I wish it was something like uh, Viva Pinata or something. <laughs> right. Um, but it, it. The report is that he was shot in the arm, the chest, 
and the butt. Butt, butt, so, butt and the butt. Right. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I, I have the, the news reported up, so you can watch that. Uh, next up, Kotaku posted this pretty sweet Minecraft PC. Um, it looks like the redstone from Minecraft, uh, square, square and everything. Um, everything is custom, mouse, controller, keyboard. And then it shows, like, the, the specs in the inside, um, which obviously had to be custom because it's square. <laughs> so, yeah, you can go over there and check out the link. Then last but not least, uh, the game, my favorite YouTube channel, The Game Theorist, put up a theory video proving to ESPN why uh, they are wrong about esports and showing off the similarities between real sports mm -hmm. and esports. Um, what? It's a pitfall. This is pretty yeah. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was uh, Blake Griffin on a on at pitfall. Yeah. Uh, nice. But this one I, I really like because it's basically what like what they don't know right. and what we all know. <laughs> and yeah, it, just, I mean, it, it goes over like the similarities as far as schedule goes, um, the differences as far as team goes or the rankings go, and uh, the fact that there are injuries in esports as there are in regular and in, in non esports. So. Go ahead, Riz. I kind of stepped on you. Oh no, no, no! I was gonna say this. This, this is like this is more like what uh, we were talking about before with what I was trying to. What we were talking about with uh, Colin Cowherd, uh, who said that if there's any video game stuff on ESPN, that he's going to quit when they showed like the finals of uh, <laughs> Heroes of the Storm or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, he's no longer working for ESPN anymore. So, shh. Um, but it, it's just to the point where it, who cares? Let them have their. It, it, it's better than bullying or or you know pool that's always on ESPN on Sunday afternoons, whenever football is on and nobody else is watching. I uh, enjoy bowling. But nobody well, watches it. It even, it even points out that the fact that they showed uh, uh, cup stacking championships, uh, the World mm -hmm. Series of Poker championships, uh, cheerleading. Yeah, cheerleading, uh, the National Spelling Bee. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you can complain about esports on ESPN all you want, but you're still showing the goddamn spelling. I'm still waiting for ESPN the Ocho to show that dodgeball tournament. Right. So, let's have, I mean, let's have Cotton come out. <laughs> oh, that's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays <laughs> off. It's such a great movie. All right. Um, but yeah, I need so, new shorts. <laughs> so go over and uh, check out the, the post in the video. Um, as, as with most game theory videos, they're lengthy, mm -hmm. but it's worth it. That, that, that's so strange because I just watched the game theory right before the show about. Uh, Five Nights at Five Nights Four, and it, you know why you just watched that? Why? Because the Game Theory is the greatest channel on YouTube. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, uh, let me let me rephrase that. the The Game Theory what YouTube page is the greatest gaming themed mm -hmm. uh, YouTube channel because I try spice games. <clears throat> Uh, Sorgatron Media is the greatest YouTube channel mm -hmm. yeah. uh, for podcasts yes, ma'am, and other material, followed by Epic Meal Time. So that's the best food-related one, mm -hmm. right? So and, anyway. and, and followed by PewDiePie. Just just point it out there. And only only recently has he joined the list. <laughs> uh, anyhow, that has been this week's. First, uh, this week, something or other. Back to you, Bobby. All right. Uh, last week, it's time for some things you should be made aware of. Last week, last we week. covered a story in which Peter Dinklage was removed from Destiny as the voice of Ghost. Uh, well, now we know the reason he was removed, and it wasn't <laughs> due to his performance like everyone suspected. No, he didn't. 
the reason Bungie needed to go in a different direction is availability. Um, Mr. Dinklage's schedule is uh, very full with feature films and Game of Thrones. Uh, he wasn't available to lend his voice uh, any more than he actually did at first. Um, so Nor- 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 Nolan North stepped in. Uh, he's the most one of the most well-known voice actors in video games. Um, and he was available at a moment's notice, and thus they needed to make Ghost a focal point in these future expansions. So he stepped in, and that is where we are. And it only made sense to switch to Nolan North. Um, now that they've cleared that up, uh, if Destiny was supposed to be this huge of a game, why didn't they get Nolan North from the start? What do you guys think? Because because Peter Dinklage said yes. Yeah, that's true. Peter Dinklage did say yes. Because if Peter Dinklage says yes, you make Peter Dinklage say yes. <laughs> You make him in the game. You make, you make that. Uh, uh, but, but seriously, come on. I typically have to. I, I have to go with Riz on this one. Um, mm-hmm. Bungie, it, this is Bungie's mistake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they knew what they had planned for this game. Yeah, they knew that Peter Dinklage was not only uh, in Game of Thrones, which takes up months of his his mm-hmm. schedule, uh, we, but also starting to get picked up in films. Another thing they could have done was why why couldn't they have like the original ghost de- get destroyed instead of re-recording all the lines? Well, That's what I don't they, understand. Because in the game, you you're find allowed, it, right? you're allowed to go back into the worlds you were just at and replay those levels. Okay, yeah. so it would be strange to go to have him destroyed and then all of a sudden you go go to another place and yeah, it's more north. Saying the same exact lines over and over again, right. probably some more oomph to it. But um, and and by the way, Bungie's ex- this is this is I, I don't think this is Dinklage talking. This is this is an excuse by by Bungie. It was, it was a backlash. Ex- yeah, it was. It was. It was it, it, it's a backlash. It's like a it's a whole. Well, look, we didn't fire him. He we he just he's just busy. He's tar- he's he's over here doing things. We wanted somebody over here, you know. So we got the guy who does every video game in the history of the world. He's Tyrion uh, Lannister. Yeah. Uh, so saying that he's he has less time is kind of bullshit. He's also in right. Pixels. <laughs> uh, Why he was in Pixels, I don't know. Hey, you know what? No, I'm putting I'm putting my foot down. Have either of you seen this movie? No, I know. I yes. Haven't. Have, have you, you seen it? Yes. You have? Yes. When? When did you see it? <laughs> this weekend. Oh, this okay. this past weekend when I came home, I just put it on. I I, I didn't buy it. Okay. I I watched it somehow. <clears throat> and I likes it. You I, I turned it off. And Mike went to see it, and he said he did, it wasn't bad. So I'll, right. I'll, I'll hold judgment until I see it. I, are, I promised are, myself that I wouldn't judge things. There are no more uh, judgments of this movie until you've watched it. That's all I'm saying. Because, I mean, currently, as it stands, as a $50 million movie, or no, I'm sorry, an $88 million movie, it's made $50 million. Profit. Sure. So it's not losing money. But then again, somehow, then again, they they had a uh, raid on the Internet, anything that involved pixels. And they took their own trailer down due to copyright infringement. <laughs> yeah, but that's not their fault. That's not. Their and, fault. and they took down the original uh, short that created it, which was awesome, by the way. That's still not this whole but other I, issue, whole other issue for yeah. another podcast yeah. that we do in this <laughs> network. <laughs> All right. Can we move on? Please. Sure. All right, you, you remember a boy and his blob, right, guys? The story of a boy and his blob. And jelly beans. Yeah, that, would make, that would make the blob turn into various things. It was it was hard. <laughs> uh, well, Majesco Entertainment has shifted their focus to downloadable and mobile games. And thus, a new entry to a Boy and His Blob series is coming, along with another new game called Glue. Uh, The games are both expected to launch in the next two quarters and will be released on all next-gen consoles and and in some instances PCs. 
Uh, do you guys have any fun memories of boy, of a boy in his blob? And are you interested to see how this pans out for Majesco? Do you guys remember playing? Bobby, do you remember my uh, confession from late night Chachi plays? Uh, no. That's one that I read about in the magazine and never actually got to play too much. Oh, of. was it? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's... You, you would plot the games in your head going through the yes. magazines. I, my imagination was playing video games in my head to Nintendo Power. Like, like, I just game. saw that little snippet of it and I'm looking at it. I'm trying to f- realize if I remember this game or not. That's, not, I, that's, I not, that's not the old school. I know, that's the new school. That's game. the new, new one. If I remember. Um, picture, picture an NES in graphics and then picture a white blob. That was the boy in his blob. <laughs> And he ate jelly beans and turned into like things like ladders and, and parachutes. And, oh. Yeah, oh. I mean it was a fun game. It was just very challenging. It was it was a tough game. So. Yeah, I can't. I, I don't remember Boy and the Bob. See, this yeah. is the part where in the old days, this is where the challenge comes in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> we true. Find the game. That's true. I think we did have that as a challenge at one point. Um. But yeah, I think this is going to work out pretty good for Majesco because I don't think that they were selling a lot of like hard copies anymore. Um, I remember the 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 new Boy and His Blob come out for Wii, and I think they offered it later on as like a digital offering. Mm-hmm. So I mean, if if they can't sell like retail copies, why not go digital? That's where every other studio studio is going now, anyways. So it's the future, Bobby. The future is here. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we see it on Wii U and Xbox One and PS4 and 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 in some I instances. Yes, we have to be last, Bobby. Yeah. Uh, well, I just was naming consoles, and that came up last. Mm-hmm. All right. I see how it is. All right, moving on. Uh, Gamescom this week, the talk of the town was both Battleborn and Overwatch. Uh, the new games caught the eye of several gamers and introduced some new characters. Uh, Overwatch, the Blizzard entry into the genre, introduced Lu- Lucio, or Lucio, a DJ from Brazil, Brazil turned freedom fighter. Uh, his character has a sonic amplifier, which is like a speaker, but only it's a weapon. Uh, it can emit sound, knocking back enemies, and it can heal his team. He can heal his teammates uh, through the power of music. Uh, also, he can change tempo and make himself and his teammates faster with uh, the crossfade ability and uh, from a temp- and form a temporary shield around his teammates. Hey, 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 Bobby. Yes. Does he drop the base? He does drop the base, actually. Yes. He, he really does. Yes. And it's awesome. Man, um, there's there's going to be a lot of people playing that as that character. It's going to be weird. Uh, Battleborn, uh, the Gearbox entry into the genre, introduced four new characters at Gamescom, and uh, they announced that it's coming to PlayStation 4, Windows PC, and Xbox One on February 6, 2016. Cannot wait for that day. Uh, this is going to be... Uh, the, they're going to feature an astounding 25 playable characters. Wow. Uh, the four that were revealed at Gamescom are Benedict, who looks like a badass falcon, <laughs> Melka, a stealthy assassin character, Ambra, a uh, ancient priestess, and Reyna, a Valkyrie who is a native of the Last Star system. Um, that, okay, with all those characters and everything uh, announced, um, which game do you see yourself playing out of these two awesome games? Or do you see yourself playing both of them? One is just for PC as of now. I, I'd probably just play Battleborn. Yeah. Because Gearbox I, I, has not... Gearbox has not stirred me away from Gearbox games. True, true. Overwatch, when I when they announced it, I was so happy and excited for that game. And then they they said it's not, not coming to consoles yet, or they haven't really announced it for consoles. And then they announced Battleborn slightly after that, and I was like over the moon excited for Battleborn because it's on PC or it's on it's on for you know the major consoles. So I'm and and the characters look amazing. There's 25 of them. Overwatch has a bunch too. I can't remember how many they have, but yeah, it, good stuff coming for both games. I, I I can't wait to see what Blizzard does with first person shooters like this. Mm-hmm. Myself, so I that's out of the two, both are interesting. That's one that excites me. Mm-hmm. Good deal, Chachi. Any thoughts? Okay, nope. <laughs> All right, and Sorg. Speaking of excitement. 
Mm-hmm. I had my first slice of bro- slice on Broadway this week. Yes, you did, sir. And it was it was awesome. Despite being uh, very delayed by traffic. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. yeah it, was, it was it was still still good, really good. Yes, yes. Well, we, we were far out. We were not delivering. Uh, we were personally delivering uh, to downtown, yeah. which they are not. They are in the South Hills here in Pittsburgh. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, big thanks to them for supporting Chachi Plays, bringing some grub uh, to support the uh, event of this past weekend down at the Tunesium. Also, big thanks to Tunesium. Big thanks to the coffee company that escapes me at the moment, Chachi, Anvil, and Anchor. Anchor. Okay. Anchor. Also, very, very awesome. It's a, some of the best coffee I've had in a long, long time. And believe me, we had a lot of it. Uh, so Hell thank you yeah. to them. But so of course, much of the coffee. Of course, Slays on Broadway, not only supporting Chachi Plays, but also go Pittsburgh podcasting with the post perfect pepperoni pizza go check them out slice on broadway.com and social media pgh underscore slice on the twitters or on facebook or instagram you'll get hungry too let them know that you're getting hungry because we told you about them on boss battle from insert coin to begin.com uh now let's take a look at what happened last week in sorgatron media it makes it that it makes it much harder to strategize which cards you use uh, another big change to Angry Birds 2 is now you have five lives and a timer until you get more lives, unless you pay. My my dad talked to Roddy and he's like, he he said that it was a uh, really great getting to see like someone who my dad grew up watching a little bit of and how my dad was able to connect to me through pro wrestling. And Roddy was like, oh yeah, man, that he he was like, that's really awesome. It's really great that we can bring like families together and he talked about his son who he was bringing up through wrestling and everything. so many other things happened this week sword all right we're gonna move on here uh world of warcraft announced it's going to get a lot bigger at gamescom with the expansion legion it offers new classes uh or a new class uh, new weapons, a uh, new level class, and more. Uh, the new expansion takes place on the Broken Isles, which is a brand new continent to the World of, War- World of Warcraft. Um, and other announcements included the Burning Legion has returned, new artifact weapons are being introduced, a new PvP honor system, class order halls, a new class of Demon Hunter, and a new level cap of 110. So we got that going for us. And also more emphasis on dungeons. Uh, so our final round question is, is this enough to finally get you into or back into World of Warcraft? And is this Blizzard trying to make the MMORPG relevant again? What do you guys think? Because it was a pretty big I, announcement at Gamescom. I still, I, I, I have a confession. Okay. I still have not played any World of Warcraft. Oh, wow. Me too. Well, let's uh, turn that uh, up. Me, me, I haven't played any either. Yeah, I, uh, like I, I can't, I can't get into it. I can't get into any of it. I don't know I why. Uh, it just seems weird. Back in the day uh, when they were offering free demos, I played my demo and played about fifteen hours, but I was afraid. To, I was afraid to interact with other people, so I kind of just stayed to myself, killing like boars and stuff. Plus, I, I know Chachi has a story. Yeah. About like, he he's told the story many times and. It made me worried about playing, about playing World of Warcraft. Mm-hmm. If, if it gets Chachi hooked, yeah, I'm not allowed to play it <laughs> um, at all. I, I can't, I can't play that game. I, not, yeah. uh, I, I will get in trouble. Um, <laughs> Chachi will life, spend all the monies. Yeah, my, like, my life will be over if I, if I. <laughs> it's like in hackers when they take away your phone, they took away your World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do it. <laughs> I'll be in trouble. <laughs> but, um, well, they did, they did announce a lot of cool things, and I just don't play it. So, like, like the the like the only the first thing that got me interested in the game, but it still made me not want to buy it, was the Pan expansion. The uh, oh yeah, yeah, that was I forget cool. what that's called, but what they actually called the Pandoria that that. And, and uh, that thing, uh, but I still well had no, yeah. I still don't want to uh, spend my time <laughs> and money, which I will probably spend a lot of if I bought that game on that game. 
Right? Because I I want to I want to I want to have a life sometime. Like I, I know I know some people who actually play it and actually have a lot of cool experiences to play that game. I just don't want to, you know, focus my entire intention on leveling, leveling up my character because of the group I'm in, because they're all going to be angry with me when they all die because I suck at it. I'm just going to be over here killing boars by myself. <laughs> at least I have chicken. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, one of the classes, or the, the new class they introduce is called a Demon Hunter class, uh, and they have horns and tattoos, so that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, they have, cool. They have two specs, uh, Havoc and Vengeance. Uh, Havoc is like a DPS, and Vengeance is like a tank character. Um, artifact weapons, uh, they, they previewed two of them, the Ashbringer and the Doomhammer, <laughs> um, which are awesome names. <laughs> Uh, I, need, I need to change my uh, the my, Ashbringer. <laughs> Ashbringer. 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 Bringer of the ass. <laughs> uh, that's a show title this week. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't think I don't think ass would make it on there. Uh, the, the new raids. Uh, the Emerald Nightmare has seven bosses, and you get to pr- pursue. Scenarius and uh, the Sarmar Palace has ten bosses, and you fight the Gul'dan. So that's kind of cool. The cool bear. Yeah, cool. The, the cool bear. The cool bear. Like. Okay. Hmm. So a lot of cool stuff that they they added to the game. Um, it's good for PC players uh, and World of Warcraft players. Um, if you're still playing the game, kudos to you because that's been going on for a long time. I am surprised it hasn't gone consoles yet. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it ever will, though. Maybe, well, maybe, maybe. It could. Maybe. It could now. Yeah. I, Xbox if, One is, and then PS4 my, are... If Minecraft can come on PlayStation and Xbox, so can World of Warcraft. Yeah. Because that's Craft in the name. All right. Well, that's going to do it for us this week. Uh, you can follow us at, on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, Sorg, do you have anything to plug? All the things, SorgatronMedia.com, PodCamp Pittsburgh this weekend, of course. There's going to be a live awesome cast on mm-hmm. Sunday at 2 p.m. If you want to stop in and join us, I'll be doing a seg- section on uh, intro to video podcasting, as well as being part of the OG podcasters panel uh, with Justin Kanaki on uh, the first session after the keynote in the main room. So stick <laughs> around after after that. I'm sure we'll completely live up to the expectations. Uh, that uh, check out everything else Sorgatron.com with a I had a little bit of a uh, postmortem on Chachi plays and how it went and some of my thoughts on it and uh, I don't know how tired I was when I recorded that and so <laughs> much more oh great talk on awesome chat this week with uh, the fellow behind be somebody yeah, really good really if you're looking for some motivation I think it's going to be really good for you guys out there that's coming up Thursday at awesomecast.net Bobby also didn't you uh, uh, um, have a new site go up this week a new what? New website? It's a, it's a oh, IndieWrestling.us. Yeah. You can plug that. Yeah. IndieWrestling.us. Go check that out. It's the new store for all the wrestling things that we do around here. Damn right. All right, Chachi, any plugs? I do. I, I too, just launched a new product called IndieWrestling.us. What? What? <laughs> what? Where you can go to get all of the Pittsburgh area and beyond Indie Wrestling DVDs. Or digital downloads. Cool. May or not be by Sogatron Media. <laughs> <laughs> just can, a new pro just a new project I launched this today, guys. So, you know. And you can also jo- you can also still uh, donate to Chachi Place too. Yeah, you can do that too. But mainly in the wrestling <laughs> by US. Alright, Riz, any pl- any plugs? You know, you know guys, this is so weird. Did you what? <laughs> No, don't tell us we all did it. Indie That's that's funny. We have all we all three of us had the same idea. Wow! Uh, wow. I mean, I mean, where else can you get all of your uh, indie wrestling needs? Where uh, it has indie wrestling in the name, indie it wrestling. has US in it, right? Well, you know I mean, what I just launched this week. 
No. 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 no, no, no. Are you going to get your indie wrestling fix? Indie wrestling dot JP. Yes, I opened what? up a Japanese website. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Indie wrestling dot US. <laughs> wow. That, that, was, that, was, that was fun. That was fun. You turned, you turned heel. Yeah, good job. <laughs> That's going to do it for us this week. Game over, everyone. Game over. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.